This is called lamb's quarters, and it's just a weed, and you can eat it. <laughs> and I eat it all the time. That's this is red kale. Called purslane, and you can eat that too. A little basil in there. A little of this basil. Oh. And then we got more beans coming up over here. And I don't know what this is. See the cucumbers? I have lots of herbs this year. She brought my herb scissors down. And then tons and tons of squash. Um, and this is, again, another mystery vegetable that turned into a Savoy cabbage. <laughs> um, um, and then, and there's more. This is all cucumbers. And then, this is the other adventure over here. Please, please. But see, the purslane just grows everywhere and then I realized I read somewhere you could eat it and I was like okay it's just going and going and I put more beans in here these are fish boxes from um, the uh, from the pet store they use them to transport tropical fish from the wholesaler to the pet store and they make great gardening things you just have to punch holes in the bottom of them for drainage and um, and here's some more lettuce it's And then we had, after the great bean holocaust, we had the great tomato fire of 2016. You know that house that burned down on, on County Street? The man that runs the maintenance, he, um, his, uh, um, he had tomatoes against that fence. All the buckets melted and the tomatoes were roasted. It was bad and they were all, they were all covered in tomatoes and they were green, but they probably, you know, like soon, like huge amounts. So, two different varieties. One of them, who grew them? Yeah, I know. Someone sent to me as corms, which when the flower makes the little seeds that's what they are and it takes a year and a half for those to grow so these were in the ground in November, uh, October of 14 even though I and then these came from Baker Creek and I did a group buy with some people on a seed swamp so we could afford to buy a lot of stuff but buy it like we you know split orders and stuff and um and so that, this is a European variety that was growing in a yard that someone bought a house in. And so she sent me the corms. This one is a Russian giant. They do. So I will be saving a couple of heads of each. And Columbus Day, they will go back in the ground. But we sort of have a microclimate up front because there is a dryer vent where the there's a flower bed back there and i was actually thinking of covering them and putting and leaving them there because i think they'll be okay okay. who could live without a xylus <laughs> right? From Savers. Come and help me. The house is pretty, pretty all right. Yes. So does everybody here like salad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it all depends on what's in it. <laughs> well, here you get your choice. What There's do you? A lot of things I don't like. She doesn't well, what like are the, a lot of. What vegetables. are the things you do like? I like cucumbers. Uh, onions. Tomatoes, <laughs> and I think that's it. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, oh, cucumbers! All oh, right. Yeah.
cabbage. Brussels sprouts. Uh, no we way. have some yeah. of those. My aunt was asking me. I couldn't think of the name of what I want to I eat. Brussels the sprouts. Hat. Brussels sprouts. The ones that look, yeah. Last year we tried to grow them, and unfortunately they oh, that's covered Brussels with. Yeah. Um, My aunt Irene wanted to know the name. I couldn't think of it. Well, they are uh, covered with aphids Brussels at the sprouts. end of the summer, yeah. so we didn't get any. And oh, then, I um, did in my garden, and um, I left them in until November. Yeah, well, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, and, because and they, you, they, they came out nice. Yeah, they. But I could not cook. I uh, could not grow beets. Oh, you know what? It depends on the soil. I tried. I, I love all vegetables, especially when they come from a garden from that you you've grown. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because oh, yeah. nice yeah. I can just sit out there in the grass and just <laughs> munch away Chew. at tomatoes and cucumbers. <laughs> what is that? That is dressing. It's balsamic vinegar and uh, olive oil. Extra virgin. I had a sale on walnuts and job lot. And I look at all yeah. these pictures and I said, Ah, oh, I can't go. I would have bought two bags. I love yeah. walnuts. Eat them like that. Yeah. They say they're good for you. Too. They are. Good. Oh, they are very good for you. Oops. That's enough. All right, yeah. It's yeah. too much. I know it is. I'll give you peppers and cucumber. Oh, you got I don't want no lead, no, none of that lettuce. I mean, not peppers, tomatoes. All right. For you. That sounds good. I see that in the in the mm. cookbooks. Not bad. Cookbooks. No, it's very good. Mm. Very, very good. It is. Right Thank here. you. Thank you. Now take the two feet out. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. And then was it good? My doctor. Yes, it was. Yeah. And then my doctor. Oh well. What do you call it? For my surgery. Yeah. <laughs> so, can I have, um, uh, uh